Having looked at the macro controls, let's check out the patch window. With the sound struck darkness loaded, we'll have a quick look at Absinthe's fundamental structure. The signals generated by the three oscillator modules run through the different modules and are mixed together in the master channel, where the signal is then routed through the effect module, which can always be found in the lower right hand corner. The modules can be switched on and off by clicking here. The three oscillator channels are the sound sources in Absinthe 4, where you determine the oscillator operation mode as well as the individual parameters of these modes. Absinthe 4 features a new mode called Sync Granular, which is the synthesis version of granular sampling. You can use it, for example, to create organically sounding bowed or blown sounds very close to the sounds of acoustical instruments. As in all synthesis modes, any waveform can be used within the oscillators, and you can even draw your own waveforms. One of Absinthe 4's hottest new features is Morph Waves. We'll check out this powerful new technique in the next section. Before, however, let's have a look at the other modules of the patch window. Absinthe 4 lets you define the order of the modules within a channel more freely than in earlier versions. Click the Type menu to select the respective modules mode. You can now place two filters one after another, or place a wave shape module after a frequency shifter. This greatly enhances the flexibility of absinthe sounds and multiplies the sound design capacities. The edit menu contains convenient entries for copy and paste. Here in the patch window, you can load various templates for the different module types, sorted into categories. From the oscillator's edit menu, you can even load templates for a complete channel. Choose from analog or digital to drums or sequences. Of course, you can also save your own creations as templates for future use.